2022 Nissan Leaf uh, on the way to one of the largest uh, charging stations in the UK up in Rugby. Um, we've just set off from CVM HQ in Sedgensworth. Um, we're just hitting the road now, about to join the M27 and uh, take you along for the journey to see what it's like in a brand new electric car to uh, really see if range anxiety is a problem in, uh, in 2022. So let's get cracking. services that we're visiting uh, is about 133 miles away so we should be able to make it there nice and simply um, on the one charge charge up while we're there and then get back all in one day no worries um, we'll see how that goes so the one thing with these electric cars that everyone's always talking about is the amount of instant torque they've got so just pulled in to change the camera angle and we're gonna try it here so here we go Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We're already up to 70. Now we can just kind of relax on cruise control, chill out as you normally would. If I can figure out how to turn cruise control. <laughs> there we go. So another thing with electric cars is, is how quiet they are. Obviously there's no engine noise, so the only noise you really get is the road noise. So in this cabin, there's very, very minimal noise. I could probably whisper if I had a passenger here and they'd, they'd probably still be able to hear me. So um, it's very, very quiet in these interiors, even when you're traveling at motorway speeds like we currently are. Um, we're already on the A34. We've been traveling for probably half an hour, an hour now maybe. Um, and we're only down to 86%. Um, obviously the dashboard camera that you can see uh, Back, you can see how slowly that's gone down really. Um, I've driven one of the older models of these and the battery dies a, a hell of a lot quicker than these, these new generations. So this is it's a big step forward in, in electric technology for Nissan. Um, and you, well, yeah, it's, it's much, much better than the previous generation, definitely. Now, our timing for this video couldn't be any better. We're literally in the middle of a heat wave here in England. Uh, on my dashboard it currently says it's 34 degrees outside and electric cars have been known to suffer in the heat really and, and not have as good range but hopefully this trip will kind of outline the fact that that's not really a worry anymore you can kind of go no matter what the weather if it's freezing cold outside if it's boiling hot or if it's a nice normal temperature or if you do live in England if it's raining which uh, we get quite a lot <laughs> So yeah, it's, uh, I think we will have a very nice calm journey, even in the, the now 34 degree heat. I, I don't think we've really got anything to worry about in the slightest. So we now find ourselves off the motorway, we're onto some B roads, so we can kind of test the dynamics of the Leaf a little bit, even though it's, it's not really a sports car, but hey, if the opportunity is presented with us, we have to test the dynamics, see what it's all about. So yeah, we're, we're sort of around the Gaiden area now, um, we're about about half an hour away from our destination like I said we've just got on some B road so kind of just gonna play it by ear a bit and see see what the dynamics of the leaf are like see how it tackles these sort of more rural roads like the, the kind of stuff that you're probably more likely to be on most of the time as compared to the the motorways um, because obviously this is a very important part of uh, of a car like this is what everyone needs the suspension is fantastic on it it's, it's nice and soft so it's perfect for anyone who has families or anyone who just likes a bit of a soft ride um obviously for those of you with sports cars and stuff you might be used to a much more firm ride um but no yeah this is it's it's almost like driving a cloud it's, it's that soft um but it's not soft to the point where it feels wallowy on the road. It, it always feels nice and stable, even up at sort of motorway speeds, sort of 70, 75 mile an hour. It, will, it always feels nice and stable, um, even when traveling at those speeds. Um, 
but then around town it's, it's absolutely lovely it's absolutely perfect um, it's, I don't know what more you could want really out of a, a budget uh, electric car these days So I've just arrived at the service station, I've got it charging now, as you can see we ended up on 38 miles at the end of the journey. I, uh, I might have got a small bit lost on the way but uh, it's all good, I made it. So uh, if I take you outside I can show you all the facilities that are here, it's, it's actually really quite impressive. Here is the, the screen where we are charging the car, as you can see it shows us uh, the percentage that our car's on how much we're using and the speed at which we are charging at, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, there are, there are vehicles all up and down. Uh, so up here, we've got more normal cars. So we've got Fiat, VW and an MG up there. And then if we look down this way, the an Ionic 5 here. And then further on down there, that's where all the Tesla chargers are. So there's a bunch of Tesla superchargers and they're all pretty much full. Um, the leaf. There are a few chargers which are out of service currently, um, which obviously is never ideal, but um, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm going to stay in here for a little bit and enjoy the nice, cool, air freshened car. I was there for about 30 minutes, the car's now on 98%, so we're, we're ready to go again. Um, we'll be home for another 133 miles, so it should be nothing. Uh, we've got 228 mile range. Um, so yeah, like a really, really successful little trip out. Um, great to see the facilities here in Rugby. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's been a brilliant day. Uh, I'll update you all once we get home, let you know how much, uh, how much charge we're on. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Hey everyone, so we've just arrived home. It's 3.58, um, that's another 133 miles in the book on a charge. Uh, as you can see here, we are on 44 miles remaining with 20% charge. And we have arrived back at the office with a charger right there so we can plug it straight back in and then it will be all good for another 133 miles. Well, if you add the extra 44, what, 177 miles. So um, yeah, that's, that's how great these new electric cars are. There's no need for age anxiety. You just need to do a bit of planning on your journeys and then you should be fine. Um, any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe, the usual things. Um, and I look forward to making more videos for you. See you soon, bye.